Hello, guys. Model eight, healthy habits. Lesson first, healthy, unhealthy habits. Grade seven. I am English teacher Jana Gulgazit Pekozu Turmagambet. School number 165, named after Saken Sifulin. Aims of the lesson, learn new words related to the topic and practice in speaking and writing. Use model verbs should, shouldn't on a growing range of familiar, general and the curricular topic. New vocabulary. Listen to me attentively and repeat after me. Get a good night's sleep. Get a good night's sleep. Have a hobby. Have a hobby. Drink plenty of water. Drink plenty of water. Do a physical activity. Do a physical activity. Eat fruit and vegetables. Eat fruit and vegetables. Eat too much junk food. Eat too much junk food. Serve the internet for too long. Serve the internet for too long. Play video games too often. Play video games too often. Eat late at night. Eat late at night. Watch too much TV. Watch too much TV. Get a good night's sleep. Have a hobby. Hobby bolu. Drink plenty of water, sudo kubishu. Do a physical activity, dineja tolar njasau. Eat fruit and vegetables, shimstermi kugunstir jiu. Eat too much junk food, dain tahamdar de kubishu. Serve the internet for too long, internet til zawutru. Play video games too often, video game windar de jiu we know. Eat late at night. Tnurtasinda tamaktanu. Watch too much TV. Tiridardar kopuru. We are going to use model verb should. This model verb is used to give recommendations and advice. It can also be used to talk about obligation. Examples. If you have a headache, you should go to the doctor. We should look, look after little children. You should do more morning exercises. You shouldn't eat too many sweets. You shouldn't have lunch while you are reading a book. Dear children, let's watch video about healthy and unhealthy habits. Healthy and unhealthy habits. Do you always get a good night's sleep? Do you eat a healthy breakfast every morning? Do you do a physical activity regularly? Let's take a look at some healthy and unhealthy habits. Doing a physical activity will help keep you fit. This is great for your health as you grow up, but it also helps you take your mind off other things. Sports are also a great way to meet friends. Getting a good night's sleep is important for children and teenagers. Your bodies are still growing and your mind is still developing. Sleep helps your body to rest, and it helps you to concentrate better. Eating fruit and vegetables should be an everyday routine for everyone. 
The nutrients from fruit and vegetables give you energy to stay active all day. They're good for your skin, your heart, your eyes and much more. Having a hobby is the perfect way to relax. Doing something you enjoy can take all your worries away. You can often enjoy your hobbies with friends, so they can help you socialize too. The last healthy habit we'll look at for now is always to drink plenty of water. When you're thirsty, don't reach for a fizzy drink. Water is the healthiest and most natural drink you'll find. Your body needs some all the time. Now it's time to see the unhealthy habits. Eating too much junk food is never a good idea. Everyone knows this already, but how many of you can say you don't eat too much? TV can be educational, and you can learn a lot about other times, cultures, wildlife, and so on. But sitting around watching cartoons or soap operas all day isn't going to help your mind develop. The same goes for video games. They're harmless if you play them a little. But do you really have to play video games all the time? Why not get out and ride your bike instead? Don't surf the internet for lots of hours on end either. It's a great tool for finding information and keeping in touch with people. But there comes a time when it's better to get out in the real world. With all these unhealthy habits, they're fine if you have set limits. Just don't overdo them. The final unhealthy habit for today is eating late at night. You really should avoid this. Your food won't digest properly because your body is going to rest at night. You won't sleep as well either. Are you guilty of any of these unhealthy habits? Do you have a healthy lifestyle? How many of the healthy habits do you have? Dear children, after watching video, let's write what we should or shouldn't do to have a healthy lifestyle using the words from exercise number one. We should or we shouldn't. Let's check your answers. We should get a good night's sleep. We should have a hobby. We should do a physical activity. We should drink plenty of water. We should eat fruit and vegetables. We shouldn't eat too much junk food. We shouldn't serve the internet for too long. We shouldn't play video games too often. We shouldn't eat late at night. We shouldn't watch too much TV. Good job, dear children. Let's solve this crossword from exercise number one, page 56 from workbook. Fill in the gaps necessary words across and down. Let's check your answers. 
first fruit, second internet, third night, fourth junk, fifth drink, sixth watch, seventh hobby, eighth physical, ninth video, tenth sleep. Well done. Your homework, write about your healthy and unhealthy habits using new vocabulary and the model verbs. Goodbye, children.